Hello, Baker Bobcats. Mrs. Werb here. I am so excited to read to you today. And later on at the very end, I have a special math challenge for you. Tonight, I am going to read to you a book from one of my favorite series. There was an old lady who swallowed a frog by Lucille Calandro. I love these books because there is a certain part that will repeat. And if you've ever heard these books before, you'll know you'll be able to read it along with me in no time. And if you read it along with me loud enough, I know I'll be able to hear you, even from where I am. So let's begin. There was an old lady who swallowed a frog. I don't know why she swallowed a frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed some dirt. It didn't hurt to swallow that dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed some seeds. At high speeds, she swallowed those seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. So boys and girls, I know you can read along with me now. Let's hear you. There was an old lady who swallowed the rain. What did she gain by swallowing that rain? She swallowed the rain to water the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she, she swallowed, swallowed the, the frog. frog. She, she was, was in a fog. fog. There was an old lady who swallowed the sunlight. It was so fun, right? To swallow the sunlight. She swallowed the sunlight to dry up the rain. She swallowed the rain to water the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. Boys and girls, you're doing such a great job. I can hear you. Keep reading with me. There was an old lady who swallowed some gloves. Oh, how she loves to swallow her gloves. She swallowed the gloves to hold the sunlight. She swallowed the sunlight to dry up the rain. She swallowed the rain to water the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed a rake. It was a mistake to swallow that rake. Then the old lady said, excuse me, I beg your pardon, and out spilled a colorful garden. Happy spring. So boys and girls, I hope you had fun reading along that story with me. I certainly had fun reading it to you. But before I go today, I have a special challenge for you and your family. And here it is. Which one doesn't belong? So remember, boys and girls, you're going to pick one picture and justify why it doesn't belong with the other three. I think, choose one, doesn't belong because, and give your reason to your family. See how many ones you can 
and justify don't belong with the other three. So you can pause the video so you and your family can look at the four pictures. Boys and girls, I hope you're enjoying your time home with your family and you have a great day tomorrow. I hope to see you really soon and let's make sure we're still riding Mrs. Morrissey's Green Baker Wave. Night-night, boys and girls.